policies and procedures in place, there's been a great amount of confusion as to what took place under my supervision at my school and prior to the recommendation. There's been great confusion as to the validity of the cases under my supervision and the current case which is pending. And I just want to state that my references were given and those answers were given because that's what my belief was at the time. There are, there are a lot of assumptions made after the fact. There are reports that have been generated after the fact. And the district cannot provide any documentation or evidence as to my involvement in this case regarding Mr. Peterson simply because I wasn't. Peterson case is moving forward as a result of the Lincoln student making that original allegation, correct? Yes. That's it. Okay. What's, what's the issue, sir? I'm sorry. The issue is that it's a new case that sprung because of that. It's not that case. That case was closed. No, sir. Not, not in, not in the legal realm. Okay. Okay. It is a legal issue that they started this investigation as, and I'm going off of what I have heard this morning and primarily from what I've heard from Chief Tyler, they started this investigation based on the complaint from a Lincoln student. As a result of that investigation, they discovered other, another underage child or student, a minor, I guess I should say. And it's based on that pictures and documentation, I guess, or whatever the Palmetto Police Department were able to obtain through a valid search warrant that the case against Mr. Peterson is going.